Hello and welcome to this Estranti YouTube video. Today we're going to be looking at an exam style question on break even analysis, which is a key topic that you'll need to know for your SEMA P1 exam. So let's take a look at our question. And for question two, we're going to be looking at a margin of safety calculation. So let's get started. Company ABC manufactures one model of microphones. The total fixed costs for manufacturing these microphones is £24,600. The total variable cost per unit of manufacturing the microphones is £58.50. Company ABC sells the microphones for £120 each and expects to sell 1,400 units. What is the margin of safety? as a percentage of predicted sales. So this question requires us to bring together two concepts, the break-even point and the margin of safety. So let's start by quickly writing down what these are. So let's give a quick recap of the break-even point. So the break-even point is the number of unit sales where the company makes a profit of zero. Zero pounds, zero dollars, whichever currency is relevant. So the company is neither profit making nor loss making. Its revenue is balanced by its total costs. So our formula for calculating the break even point is as follows. So the break even point is found by dividing the company's total fixed costs by the contribution per unit of its products. So we went through this in some detail in question one. However, if you didn't watch question one, don't worry, because I will quickly be running through this calculation for this question as well. So this is the break even point. So what about the margin of safety? So a company's margin of safety is the number of sales, expected sales or actual sales over and above the break even point. So the key concept here is safety. That is to say, obviously no company wants to make a loss and no company wants to make a profit of zero. After all, everybody goes into business to make some money. So when we say safety in this context, we mean how far away is the company from making a loss or making a profit of zero. So the more sales the company has over and above the break even point, the greater the margin of safety. The more sales would have to fall or costs would have to increase before the company is no longer making a positive profit. So this gives us two steps to follow in answering this question. That is step one is to find the break even point, And then step two is to based on this, identify the company's margin of safety. So with these concepts in mind, let's now take a look at the figures given to us in our question. So step one, finding the break even point. Well, the question tells us that company ABC's total fixed costs are £24,600. So we'll put this as the numerator in our formula for finding the break even point. We know that company ABC sells the microphones for £120 each, and the total variable cost per unit of manufacturing the microphones is £58.50. Minus 58 pounds and 50 pence. So by subtracting the total variable cost per unit of manufacturing the microphones from the selling price of these microphones, we can calculate the contribution per unit. So I'll write the formula down for finding the contribution as a quick recap. So the contribution per unit is equal to the selling price per unit minus the variable costs per unit which is what we've done here. So £24,600 divided by £120 minus £58.50 is equal to 400. Specifically, 400 units that company ABC needs to sell in order to break even. 400 microphones. So this is the company's break even point and the answer to step one of our calculations. So remember, the margin of safety is the sales over and above the break-even point. And if we look to the question, it tells us that company ABC expects to sell 1,400 units, 
1,400 microfarads. So if we take this figure of 1,400, subtract the break-even point that we just calculated of 400 units, we see that we have a margin of safety of 1,000 units. Company ABC expects to sell 1,000 units over and above its break-even point. However, this is not our final answer. The question asks us to express this margin of safety as a percentage of predicted sales. So all we have to do to complete step two of our calculations is to take this figure of 1,000 units as a percentage of the predicted sales of 1,400 units. So to do this, we take our figure of 1,000, divide it by 1,400, and then multiply it by 100 to express it as a percentage. So this gives us a figure of 71.4857, and so on percent, which to two decimal places is 71.43%. And this is our final answer. The number of units that company ABC expects to sell over and above its break-even point expressed as a percentage of its total predicted sales. And this, looking to our options, is option A. If you found this breakdown of a P1 exam style question helpful, then you should head over to our website where we have a 100 question video series which is available for P1 and all other SEMA modules. So in this series, we take 100 exam style questions from a range of topics across each syllabus and go through them in the same way as the one you just saw. In fact, this video was an extract from that series. So if you found it helpful, definitely check out the rest over on our website at astranti.com. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. You can also find us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. So make sure to check us out there as we post regularly on all of these platforms.